Nuestros ejércitos no pueden derrotarlo. Una vez el impostor se granjea la confianza de alguien, adquiere la capacidad de esculpir sus pensamientos. Es sensato por tu parte temer estos anillos. En manos de Sauron pueden obrar un mal insondable. define it uh, with great difficulty um, um, no uh, uh, season two is uh, 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 I think bigger than season one certainly darker than season one and we're pushing into some new territory uh, this is the season that centers around Sauron he's on the loose he is his tentacles are about and he's affecting uh, uh, all the different peoples in Middle Earth and uh, uh, no one is safe so it's it's a bit of a, a, a new territory for the show uh, uh, in many different ways Chaos. You can expect <laughs> and you can expect mud. Uh, yeah, he, he wakes up in a cave and has to fight a spider in his first sequence. So that is the sort of that's that we set the tone there. It's one of survival. It's one of growth, personal, uh, physical growth as well. I think he he becomes hardened by all of these experiences in, in season two, and, and and I think becomes more of a of a man that we expect him to eventually become. So he's more of a warrior, I guess, in some ways. And yeah, I think he his sort of, he has to choose this thing at the end of season two as, a, as a, uh, the pull between his heart and his mind, which is, does he love his home more than his love for, for, for the things in Middle Earth? So yeah, that, that sort of balance is something that he'll have to decide. Um, well, I think it's a, it's a really great testament to these three strong women, they're great directors, they're working on a great show, and it's, you know, it's a great time to be a woman working in, in, in television at the moment and in film, you know, there's great opportunities and it's really nice to see all those barriers of whether you employ a man or employ a woman breaking down. We didn't deliberately employ three female directors, um, they were the right three people for the job, so, you know, and, and they were fantastic, it's been a privilege working with them. Yeah, I mean, just to add to that from the, the privileged perspective of the, you know, showrunners, uh, I think JD and I like to work with anybody who's great at their job and great to work with, uh, lady, a man, otherwise, and uh, uh, it was kind of great to be like, oh my god, we have three lady directors, we didn't even notice until we uh, decided that that's who we're working with, and yeah. then we said, like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, and they all smashed it. And yeah, but it was job. it was really nice from a female perspective to be in that that strong group of women. It's a definitely a changed environment from when I first started my career. Uh, you know, uh, uh, people ask us this, and you know, season two, uh, uh, I think um, the changes really come from our own self-criticism more than anything else. Um, we are very proud of season one. We, we love that season. We're, we're thrilled with how it did. Um, but our job is to make every episode and every season bigger and better than the last. And I think, I think you know, hopefully people feel we succeeded. And, you know, hopefully if we're so lucky as to do it again, we'll succeed again. Uh, uh, truly, it's just what story are you telling each time? We had a long-term plan for the show. We, from some of our very first story meetings, talked about the idea that uh, Tom Bombadil might pop up uh, uh, as our as our stranger, our wizard character was on his journey of self-discovery. Um, you know, and we always love the idea of like, you know, pulling in people like Kirdan, uh, played by the amazing Ben Daniels this season. Uh, uh, um, and I think, you know, there's more characters from canon who might pop up later on, but there's no strategy behind it other than wanting to take advantage of everything Middle Earth has to offer. And sometimes that's going to be a new original character, and sometimes that'll be She Love the Spider. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it's his resilience and perseverance at the face of sort of adversity and, and how he just sort of manages to to grow from those experiences and not become frailer. And I think that's something that I personally also really liked about it and, and took that a little bit of a sealed or I tried to, tried to become a little bit more like him because I think it's important to, to sort of keep things together and move forward, move onwards.
Oh, Do you want God, to sing? I think, yeah, I think, I think we're talking about singing, so I think Seal Door needs a song. We're, we're talking about singing literally as 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a singer? Uh, well, we'll see that. We'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> Depend, depends what register we're talking about. Uh, 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 who knows? Yeah. Who knows if you took a break? <laughs> All we can say is, uh, yes, we are already working on season three, but uh, uh, who knows what, uh, where the road will wind next. <laughs>fans of, of Peter Jackson's films, not just in Lord of the Rings, but so many of his other terrific movies. Uh, 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 we, we would only be so lucky, but I, I, I suspect he has better things to do. <laughs> <laughs>I'll be yeah. 34, but very happy being able to tell such a beautiful, beautiful, timely story. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, Have you thought about that? No, I mean, you know, uh, uh, what, what, what is it, you know, when Frodo walks out his door, you just got to keep moving your feet forward and not think about uh, uh, the destination. You just got to do one day at a time. Yeah, I think we, we uh, uh, JD and I, my, my co-showrunner, we love the idea that, you know, television has such an incredibly elastic form and, you know, the structure and shape of episodes uh, is in, incredibly fluid. And you can do things like go way back in time. You know, the third episode with um, Isildur uh, uh, starts back in the seventh episode of season one and with his father releasing the horse who's looking for him and then you follow the horse over his journey of you know weeks or months before he finally finds where you've ended up. <laughs> <laughs>